James Though he was just a mean one To me he was a friend been dreaming again, Jess. When are you going to stop dreaming that same dream, Jess? He beat me. He cut me to ribbons, trying to make me tell where Frank was hiding with Quantro. There was a war then. A lot of people got hurt who shouldn't have. He made it hard to forget. That Yankee soldier didn't. But you can't go on hating one dead man the rest of your life. I swore I'd kill him the same way he tried to kill me. I swore when they buried him, he wouldn't have enough flesh on his dirty, stinking body to hold his bones together. And I kept my word. You kept your word. And you've kept running and hiding ever since. You think I like living this way? Knowing that every day my chances for staying alive keep getting smaller and smaller? Just start. Don't talk anymore about it. I didn't mean what I said before about running and hiding. I'm sorry. It's all right, honey. You only spoke the truth. What eats a man most is when he got to hide his own name from his own son. He's too ashamed to tell him the truth. Jess, darling. Jess. He worships you. He'll grow up loving you just like he does now. And someday, when he's old enough to know and understand, we'll tell him. When he's old enough to know and understand, that's when he'll begin to hate me. See their faces. It's the place.
there's any shooting. Take the little jets out the back way to the horses. You know where to go. I'll meet you there, somehow. Be careful, dear. Jesse. Jesse. Jesse, are you there? Can you hear me? You got a wrong address, mister. The name's Tom Howard, like it says on the mailbox. Now move. Jesse, it's me, Bob Ford. I don't know any Bob Ford. Now, I said move. Well, I know it's you, Jesse. You and Z and little Jess. You've got to believe it's me. I've been riding a long way to find you. Who's with you? It's a friend of mine, Sam Wells. I wouldn't lie to you, Jesse. I wouldn't be crazy. Are you carrying a gun? Yeah, I got a gun, Jesse. The one you gave me, remember? I don't remember anything. Now listen to me. I'm going to open this door. And when I do, throw that gun in on the floor where I can see it. And when I tell you, come in with your hands stretched out in front of you. And if you're lying, I'll kill you. Both of you. All right, come in like I said. That's far enough. Now turn around. Bob, it's been a long time. Long time, Jesse. It's all right, Z. It's Bob Ford. You hear me, honey? I said it's Bob Ford. Yes, Jess. I hear you. Will you make us some coffee to bring in, honey? This is Sam Wells. Got no idea. Like this kind of turned out to be a good luck piece you gave me. You took a lot of convincing. For a couple of minutes, I was worried. Maybe you'd turned unfriendly. A man like me's got to be choosy who his friends are. Especially in the middle of the night. I get kind of nervous when I hear someone call me by my real name. I think maybe Sam and me can help put a stop to that. Interested? Good old home, sweet home. Jesse James, family man. Who'd ever have believed it? Relax, Sam. You say you came a long ways? Colorado. Place called Creed up in the San Juan district along the Rio Grande. I hear that's pretty hot mining country. Hot as mining pay dirt in the whole United States. I always wondered where you headed after that railroad job at Blue Cut. That's the time Frank and I almost got it. We had Pinkerton men and posses riding our tails all through Missouri. How did you know where to find me? My brother Charlie ran into Cole Younger. He said you were living here in St. Joe using the name Tom Howard. He said it was important. How important? Maybe uh, $300,000 important. All in gold? Hello, Z. This is Sam Wells, my wife. I'm pleased knowing you, Mrs. Uh, around St. Joe, it's Howard, even among old friends. Gives us a more comfortable feeling. Yeah, sure. Uh, glad knowing you, ma'am. Thanks. Go to bed, honey. You must be tired. Try and get some sleep. Good night. Good night.
$500,000. That's a lot of gold. There's lots of gold where that comes from. Sam knows. This is a chance to play the prettiest serenade was ever heard in the West, Jesse. The Big Bob Mine. Richest diggings around. They store the gold. Once a month, Wells Fargo picks up a shipment and hauls it to the mint at Denver. There's never less than two, three hundred thousand dollars. Sometimes even more. Walking into a bank or fixing a train is one thing, but they must have an army guarding this 24 hours a day. Sam has it all figured. We get to the shipment before Wells Fargo. I know how to drop it right in our laps. He used to be the foreman at the Big Bob. I was there when old Pete White hit silver. The flash load. It worked out fast. He went busted. Tried to sell his claim. Everybody called it Pete White's elephant. Everybody but Big Bob Williams. He had a hunch about there being gold. Bought Pete's claim for a couple of hundred dollars. And they stuck a vein that spread out over half the other side of the mountain. Williams put me back on working for him. And now? I've been away on a vacation a little bit. Colorado State Penitentiary. I got some gold dust in my eyes, and I couldn't see too well what I was doing. They trip you for high grading? You didn't get saddle saw all the way from Colorado just because you're charitable. Just because you want to make a present of some of that gold. No. I've got a place in Cree, Jesse. Dance hall. Drink. Dice. It's good business. They come down from the hills heavy with yellow. A lot of that yellow rubs off on me. But one day there's not going to be any more dirt. The town will dry up and die like others have died. Well, I'm not dying with it. I'm getting mine now. Sam, too. There'll be no more penny ante high grading, or... You didn't answer my question. Why pick me? Because you can get the best men for the job. The ones who will stay with it. Take chances. Who won't slobber all over themselves or spit up their guts if anything goes wrong. Who keep their mouths shut in case we all don't break away clean. That kind of man will ride with you, Jesse, and nobody else. And you know where to find them. Twenty-five percent just for your cut. One quarter of the take. That's enough for you and your wife and kid to stay lost any place you want. Mexico, South America, any place. I don't know. How much longer do you think you'll last here? They've got these decorating every state east of Colorado, Jesse. Kansas, Nebraska, Iowa. $10,000 is a lot of blood money, Jesse. There are lots of greedy people. $10,000 is enough to buy one of them, who'll turn you in or put a bullet in your back without even blinking. Just as sure as you're standing there, Jesse, someday someone will. How many men do you need? Three, not counting us. A teamster, a gunslinger, somebody to handle dynamite. Then what? Suppose we keep some secrets from each other, shall we? I never did like secrets. We do. Like where the gold is stored and how to get to it. You bring us the men, then we'll tell you all our secrets. Colorado's a long way to go, just some promises. Man likes to know what he's getting into. What its chances are for coming out alive. You speaking for yourself or Tom Howard? You shouldn't talk like that, Bob. Maybe next time my guns and my knife are on the wall. I know. Why'd you think I said it? I'll let you know in the morning. You pull up a couple of chairs and spend the night here. The fire will keep you warm. There's some room in the barn for your horses. Better get them in out of the rain. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Well, what do you 
think. He'll come along. You can bet on it. It's just as good as gold. Well, let's get those horses in. I know what they said, Jess. I had to listen. I would have told you. Bob Ford is no good. Send them away, Jess. Send them away now. What if a man knows it's all wrong, but wants to live like a human being? Tell them to go away. Please tell them. What if I do tell them, Dee? If I don't go, what then? What more have we got to show? One less killing they'll want you for. One less robbery. Don't you see, Jess? If you don't stir up anything new, maybe they'll forget. Stop looking for you. Leave you alone. Sure. Sure, they'll leave me alone. When I'm good and dead. That'll probably be the day I go to bed without a gun under my head for a pillow. Then maybe I can sleep. Stop dreaming dreams. not to before. But I'm begging you, Jess. Don't ask me, Dee. Don't make me say no to you. I have to go. I can't turn my back on this chance for our freedom. Come back to me alive. That's all I ask. I'll come back alive. After that, no more worries, no more going away. Every day, I'll pray for that. Jess. Yes? I... Oh, dear, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to burst in here like that, but I saw two strange men coming out of the barn with horses. So I come right over. I wonder if there's anything wrong or anything. Taking another of your traveling trip, Mr. Howard? Yes, Mrs. Lovett. Gone long? As long as it takes me to get back, Mrs. Lovett. Now, don't you worry about a thing. She and the boy have their needs. I don't live that far. One good holler and I'll be right here. You just remember that, honey. I'll remember. Thanks for your kindness, Mrs. Lovett. You ready, Tom? Thanks, Sam, for your hospitality. Bye. I'll be seeing you again sometime, Mrs. Howard. Meet you at Creed. Good luck. to shoot him. You 
see him, the rotten hunchback full of pies and bad luck. Come on. Before I feel sorry, I found you. Well, don't talk that way, Jesse. I didn't mean no real harm. <laughs> Mr. Hobbs? Mind this, my love. Now, that doesn't change my luck. I suppose I'll have to give up my evil, sinful ways and go back to the good, clean living. Liquor and women. Terrible sin. How are they sick in a man's face? And now, Cards, Mr. Hobbs. Give me time, sonny. Give me time. I'll just tag along with these. Well, seems like you got your face back in a hurry, Mr. Hobbs. I'll take a swallow to that. Put your trust in Elias Hobbs, my fair one. I win this hand, we toss a hairy do, the like of which this slop bucket town has never seen. I'll uh, take two. Take away, sonny. Take away. I'll just set this in here. Count of maybe it won't get too lonesome. Should be worth about a thousand. You lose me. That's a real charitable bet, Mr. Hobbs. You know, I'd, I'd be most ungrateful not to call it. But so what you've got left there shouldn't die of loneliness. I'll uh, sweeten things another thousand. I'd rather die lonely than broke. You're not losing your faith again so soon, Mr. Hobbs. Now you're putting the wicked seeds of doubt in my mind, sonny. As for me, I'd rather die dead broke than live a lonely man. Let's see what I got to beat. Just uh, two little pair of juices. No sense of even showing mine. Well, another steak, another day. Too bad. Like you say, another steak, another day. You, uh, wouldn't deny a thirsty man his last drink, would you? You Both your hands on the table, Mr. Hobbs. You're shuffling the deck, Sonny. See if he's carrying anything more on him. Danger! So there shall be no future to the evil man. The lamp of the wicked shall be put out. So be it. An old saying of the ancient wise men. May your filthy soul rest in peace. You took a lot of finding, Elias. Better get out of here before the whole place falls in on us. Glad to see you, boy. Told you my luck would change, sweetheart. But she's not a God-fearing man.
like it. It's too quiet. Pat not being in the house. Only that Jay came flying through the window. A bad sign of bird in the house. Means somebody's dead. Enough of your witchcraft talk, brother. I right? only give the devil bad ideas. smoking me off this land. Now turn around and get out of here. Just a minute, we're not trying to. If you're wasting a lifetime, mister. I'm looking for Pat Durrett. You came late. He's dead. How did it happen? You're looking right at it. I shut him down and buried him this morning. You must be Johnny. Yeah. I'm an old friend of your father's. I don't care who you are. I'm saying it for the last time. Now get out of here! Ah, cool down, Sonny. Pat Jarrett was no stranger to us. We all done a lot of riding together. You've got to believe me, Johnny. Sure. Same as they believed him when they put a rope around his neck. Help me, dang it! <laughs> Johnny, those men riding up, are they? I know who you are now. When my father used to talk about you, he always called you dingus. Ain't nobody gonna call anybody nothing. We just figure around and stand here making conversation. They said they'd be back. Let them. Your time's up. Come on out, peaceable. There'll be no trouble. That goes for whoever's in there with you. Oh, that's what I call being real neighborly. Some more men. You two keep Harvey covered. Aren't we going for help? He that this help us shall stumble. And he that is help shall fall. Oh, I miss them, the wormy, fat belly pig. Here. What do you mean? I'll hitch to the wagon and ride us out. She's fast and strong. She'll get us out. Brother Arch here could shoot as good from the back of a wagon as any place. Let's go. I'll open the doors and we'll come out shooting.
horses get watered and saddled? Yeah. Johnny took care of him. He's sitting out his watch. What about the boy, Dingus? Think we're going taking him with us? I hadn't thought. We still need someone to drive wagon. I was thinking about Clell Miller. Clell? I was thinking about him when I got himself married. Woke up one Sunday morning. Found out he was hitched to a regular church going some singing choir thrush. Got so reformed, she talked him into singing in the tenor section. What about Johnny Reno? What about Johnny Jarrett? Way we come riding out of that barn for a minute, I could have swore it was his father, Pat, handling them reins. Ah, the kids still clean, Elias. Why dirty him up? A lot of things can happen. Sitting up there feeling lost, scared, lonely. You ask me, Elias, sometimes it's a lost, scared, and lonely world we're all trying to live in. Yeah. I guess sometimes it is. It ain't how they bring you in or carry you out that matters. It's what you do while you're here they remember you by. I guess how they'll remember the kid if we'll let him go back, Dingus. You know what's the cross of lies between a fox and an old goat? What do you see out there, Johnny? Yesterday or tomorrow? You still see him whipping that horse out from under my father, letting him hang there. To his own rope, his own rafter. Waiting to make sure his face turned black and then saying to me, go dig a grave and throw him in it. That's what I see, that's what I hear. So I pay him all back the same way. I know. Why'd they try to run you out? They tried to make him out a horse thief. <laughs> what chance did I have? That was a lot of things, Johnny, but not that. Next to living for you, I, I think he loved horses most. Well, he found this bay. It must have stumbled through the fence during the night. He was laying there in the field with a broken leg. And Pa tried to find out he owned him, but he couldn't. He didn't have the heart to shoot him. So he got him back to the barn and went to work setting on his leg. He cried real tears for the pain that Bay felt, but he saved the leg. Then they came and swore Paul stole the horse. The same Bay they put him on and whipped, and they rode him off the saddle. It all happened the day you showed. Now we're pushing over the mountains for Colorado in the morning. Thanks. I've got unfinished business back the other way. You never finish that business, Johnny. You start to fight one and end up fighting them all. You never win. Well, who's supposed to win? The liars, the cheaters? That's dead, Johnny. You can't help them anymore. What do you prove getting yourself killed? I don't think Pat would have liked it that way. I'm still short of man for this little rah. Oh, yeah? Well, not anymore, you're not. He 
can be warm. I don't care if he's cold. Don't mind if he's a little bit bold. That's the man for me. He'll find me ready, lovable and steady. If he can make my dreams come true. I've been in love before, brother, I know the score. And only one kind will do. He may be good or then he may be bad. Might make me happy, maybe make me sad. But if you make me love him like mad, that's the man for me. your heart out like that for all men? Not all men. Excuse me, miss. You know where Bob Ford's around? He might be. Tell him he's got visitors. Tom Howard and three friends. Tom Howard and three friends. I'll tell him. gorgeous girls, change their costumes, they're coming back and do another number for you. But in the meantime, I've got a few gadgets here that I want to show you. And now, fellas, I'll tell you what I'm going to do for you. I'm not only going to give you, for five dollars, this miner's panning pan, but I'm going to give you absolutely free of charge. Now, you think my friends uh, were crazy when they called me crazy? I'll show you that I'm catched in the head. I'm going to give you, as well as that miner's panning pan, I'm going to give that little divining rod. Now, you know what this is for. I'll explain. Give me some of that prairie oh, poison you're hiding back there, brother Fran. Hold that over the ground. And that little divining rod will detect your private uh. man in California not long ago. Made exactly a million dollars. They discovered a Go ahead. Take it, boys. Didn't hurt you any more than getting cozy ideas about that girl. Her kind has got more dynamite capped inside her than a stick of giant Dan sizzling up a fast fuse. You stick to handling the dynamite, and I'll try to keep the horses gentle. Just handing out a little welfare and advice, that's all. Dingus? Why, as you know, I've never had a drink in my life. Welcome to Creed. How's the trip? We're here. Arch Clements, Johnny Jarrett, Elias Hobbs. Good brother, Robert. And your friend, Mr. Ford? The name's Kate. A very personal friend, Jurat. I'll try to remember that. Oh, uh, speaking of friends, how's Sam? Sort of anxious to see him again. Picked up where we left off. Sam's fine. He's been keeping everything nice and warm till you get here. Let's go back in my office and talk. If you don't mind, uh, let's talk out here. It's more sociable out here in the open. You don't have anything to worry about here. I'd just like to make sure. Move around the tables and keep the sucker boys happy. Help dry their losing tears. Why not? All part of making a living. Nice meeting you all. That's no way to say goodbye. When I want to meet someone for the second time, I let them know. I said once I wanted no trouble. Now keep peace, both of you. Or get out now. Sorry. I didn't mean no real harm, Jesse. If you're saying that's getting to be a bad habit with you, Arch. Now get rid of it. You'll have to excuse him, miss. He's not very bright sometimes. I know the type. Two 
two things a man's got an everlasting greed on for. One's a woman, the other's gold. Sad as a dog trying to catch his own tail. Come on, Johnny. Brother Art, swallow down your bitterness. You can't all start hating one another too soon. Some boys you've got. My boys are all right. They know their job. A Jarrett kid looks wet behind the ears. You know I can smell a trigger-happy gunslinger? He gets queer ideas, but he's the best there is. I can handle him. Now, let's get back to Sam. He's shacked out in the hills up at the mine. That way nobody sees him, nobody wonders what he's doing back here. We head out that way at sunup tomorrow. But you and your boys must be tired. Be my guest. There are rooms upstairs. Anything you want, the place is yours. Well, now, that's real generous. Missouri's a long way from Colorado. I just don't like to think of you getting homesick. We're partners now. One big happy family. Boys, everything's on the house. Enjoy yourselves. You are a good man, Brother Robert. He that gives to the poor shall not lack for himself. Exactly my sentiments. Rooms are upstairs. Be ready at sunup tomorrow morning. Angus, you got a feeling Brother Robert is dreaming up some fancy ideas of his own? Why? What do you mean? I don't know. All these free drinks, them lovely dancing ladies, like the fatted calf before the kill. My nose smells something burning. Same smell I had the day we rode in the Northfield and got all chapped up. Boy wants a piece of that gold the same as we do. Not gonna do anything to hurt his chances. Not his, maybe. Nothing or no one's gonna hurt ours. I got my whole life riding on this one. I know, as I know. You got my life, too, going on. Thanks, Elias. You're a good friend. I think I'll try and get some sleep. Oh, yes. Don't worry. Everything's going to be all right. Johnny, take care of those horses. Keep away from that girl. Keep close by to him. Keep an eye on him. See no one goes near his room. Or her. for you, too, if you don't want to get your pants full of buckshot. Might be worth it. See you again. I brought you the menu asked for. Gunslinger, driver, and the powder man. Arch Clements, Johnny Jurette, Elias Hogg. Everything set? I'm ready. Well, let's not waste time. It was right in this room old Pete White blew his brains out when they told him Big Bob hit gold on the other side of the mountain. Said you bring them in, we keep no secrets. A man dies like that, leaves a curse behind him. I can see the signs all around me. What signs? Signs. Shut your devil's mouth, Brother Arch! Throw out your mother of witch talk! There shall no curse ferment the righteous! 
No fear, the unafraid. You start to say there'd be no secrets. Here's the entrance of the old mine. About 400 yards from here is the foot of the rock. Pete's load was a deep one, ran way down into the mountain. Then we struck a fault, uh, about here. As the river runs underground, it feeds into the Rio Grande. We tried blasting around it. The whole section collapsed. The river broke through. Nobody got out. I was working an upper level. We shored up the section, blocked it off, then started working off here. We might as well have been digging for worms in that rock. That vein hit dirt and stayed there. Pete couldn't lick it. That's when Williams bought in. He closed up this end of the mine, opened a new entrance on the opposite side of the mountain, here. That's when Big Bob's gold hunch paid off. They forgot one little thing. Pete's old tunnel. It runs right below them. We blast through that fault. We'll be sitting there looking up at $300,000 worth of yellow. You sure? I was born and raised in that tunnel, that's how sure. May be tricky, but it can work. How tricky? You brought a good powder man. Nothing to worry about. There's nothing that Big Dan can't handle if you treat him gentle enough. All right, if you get the gold, then what? I'll be here the day before with a team and wagon. Stuff will be too heavy to hand carry on our horses. That'll be your job, Jarrett, driving those horses. We use an old stagecoach trail, runs between Del Norte and Silverton. I'll ride point. Your gunslinger covers us. Jesse, you and him will ride both sides of the wagon. Sam will ride in the wagon with the gold to make sure it stays lashed down. There's no way station about halfway. We stop there and split up the gold. After that, every man is on his own. I never tell my men what to do. If they like the setup, they go. If they don't, they forget about it. It's up to them. Just be there with the team and wagon. In that case, Mr. Ford, you better get up to riding point in a hurry. I get real jumpy over anyone riding behind me. Thanks, I'll remember. Well, Jesse, I guess your boys have given their answer. Yeah, I guess they have. That's settled. Let's open up that tunnel. Part of the mountain washed down, sealed up the entrance. What about the sound of the explosion? It won't carry over the mountain. Big Dan, looks like you and me got to go to work. It's clear. I'm lighting the string. Let it blow. Reminds me of the time we were riding with old Charlie Quantrill, the day we blew the bridge for one of them blue bellies, chased us out of Centralia. Arms and legs to fly along. Oh, oh, <laughs> what a day. <laughs> Life. Dry as a bone. No air coming in here. I've seen caves at home in Kentucky like this. They make for nice tombs. Here 
Here's the spot where you hit the fall. We blast through it, take our way right under the gold case. How long? Oh, we don't run into any trouble. About three days. Well, I'll be heading back to town. You better pick a salty long harness team for this ride. Don't lose any sleep, Gerard, over my picking horses. I'm the one that's got to do the driving, Mr. Ford. Remember? We'll see you back here in a couple of days, Bob. We'll handle them here, Arch. You watch the scenery outside. We'll be needing every man on the tunnel, Jess. I feel more comfortable with Arch outside. Good luck. Be seeing you. Uh, <clears throat> good brother Robert, I can still hear the echo of my great-grandfather's voice when I was a child, giving me this advice for when I was to grow up. Drink no longer water, but use a little wine for thy stomach's sake. Here's how he put it. <laughs> you, uh, don't suppose you could return with those priceless words of wisdom in a bottle, do you? Huh? Good brother Robert? And what I thought. Oh, well. You need all the equipment from the shack. I'll get gold within her reach. And yet, what comfort is it to a parched and thirsty spirit? I did it. Oh, for a couple of minutes there, I thought I was going to be missing it my own way. That would have been a terrible disappointment. You sure you're all right? Ah, sure.
out here. to bring a woman, especially you. Things must be uh, kind of slow back in Creed. What happened? Did you lose your voice? You rotten, low-down, wormy piece of muck! You need a good teaching. to bring up for? Take her to the cabin. If she's not all right, I'll kill you. What happened? She slipped near the edge and fell. I tried to get to her, lost my balance, and we both went over. Sure that's the way it happened, Arch? Sure, I'm sure, Jesse. Sleep outside. You've got a big day tomorrow. Sure you didn't lie to me, Arch? It's just like I said, Jesse. I slipped and fell. It was an accident. Guess it was a mistake my coming here. But then what's one more mistake in our lifetime? I never was one to do things the easy way. It isn't my nature. Well, here's luck to both of us. And thanks. Thanks for what? For keeping our friend Mr. Ford from climbing all over Johnny. He's a nice kid. I hope he stays that way. You sure you're all right? I said it was all right. I ought to know. Yeah. I guess you ought to. horses rubbed down and fat. Well, these don't look like no salty horses to me. They'll tire fast. They're the best I could get. Shut up, all of you. Everyone's getting too jumpy around here. We've got too much riding to do tomorrow to start cutting each other's throats now. I want to check the tunnel, but just to be sure. I'll go with you, Sam. Now, let's keep it peaceful. How is she, Jesse? She thinks you're a nice kid. She wants you to keep your nose clean. Don't let it go to your head. Forget it. Forget her. She's not for you. She'd tell you that, too? Take my word for it, Johnny. What do you think? Ain't no sense worrying ahead of time, Dingus. Anything's gonna happen. Won't be till after everyone gets to see the color of that gold. Brother Robert's been burning a fire under it. 
Don't start burning our bottom to Lem. And, uh, Sam? Oh, poor Sam. He's been tasting this stuff for breakfast, lunch, and supper. Things had better work out. I can't stand another day of drinking water. I never figured the girl, Bob. I don't like her. Suppose you let her be on my conscience. I've got my reasons. How about you, you old prep? We're right under it. Brother Elias figures there'll be no trouble. Good. Well, it's all arranged. They'll be here. They take care of the gunslinger first while we're still inside the tunnel. The minute everyone's in the open, they get us. They'll never even know what hit them. You sure you can trust them? Sam, if the law wanted you for murder and I showed you a way to get the law to forget about you, you'd be safe and sure as money in a bank, wouldn't you? Yeah. That's right, Sam. I traded Jesse in. He's worth a big fat pardon to each one of those boys outside. Besides, they get to split the 10,000 reward. I remember you told him 10,000 was a lot of blood money, that it'd buy somebody someday. You've got a good memory, Sam. That's not all. I figure you get Jesse, you try to get me, too. That was stupid of you, Sam. I yelled, but he couldn't get out from under it in time. Maybe you didn't yell loud enough. Coming, Elias. Ah, patience, Dingus. Patience. This reminds me of the time we were fixing to blow the tracks under the Little Rock Express. You and your brother Frank hurried me so to get it done by eight. We caught the morning train, but got nothing but a few passenger pickings. And what we was really after was the eight o'clock evening train that was hauling seventy-five thousand. Yeah, that does it. Give me them sticks. Nothing but evil in him. <laughs> Probably the kindest thing he ever done his whole life, coming in here to tell us. Somebody must have found out somehow and followed me. Maybe Sam made a deal. Too bad nobody can ask him. Shut up, you. Cut it, Johnny, cut it. She's right. You probably framed this whole thing. Hold on, brother Robert. Go ahead, Jesse, ask him. You do your asking some other time. Boys outside are after the goal to get us first. They're not to get us anyway. Either way, we're buzzard bait. We'll shoot our way out. You won't live to pull the trigger. If I know the setup, they're sitting out there waiting to blow our heads off the minute we show. Maybe not, Dingus. Maybe we get a chance to blow our way out of here first. That is, if uh, Brother Sam had a good memory. According to this uh, map here, we're pretty close to that upper level. 
If he could get out of the mine that way, so can we. What about the gold? Find a way out first, and then we worry about the gold. You mean you're going to walk away from a fortune? What good is it to a dead man? <laughs> Only brother Art. He's got a whole mountain of gold for a cough. <laughs> Too bad he won't ever know how lucky he is. Come on, Elias. Find the place and get us out of here. Yeah, sure hope, brother. Sam had a good memory. Right up there ahead. Yep. I think I'm the only one to handle this serenade. Sometimes I meet the right ones at the wrong time. She's burning! Hold on! Another hour, you'll be Tom Howard back in St. Joe again. You know, we could have got that gold and still made it out of there somehow. What difference does it make now, anyway? Someday one of us will pick up a paper and read how somebody put a bullet in the back of one of our heads. It's got to happen that way, I suppose. You better get hold of yourself, Jesse. You're just asking for it. Where you heading? My brother Charlie's place, I guess. Unless I've got left to go now. They'll be hunting me just the same as you. Well. So long, Bob. Give my regards to Z. Seeing you sometime, Jesse.
a dirty little coward that shot Mr. Howard and laid poor Jesse James in his grave. But in a barroom, someone spotted Bob Ford, and there he got it, the way poor Jesse James went to his grave. 